Hello everyone, Garnet here, and welcome back to Ark Survival Ascended on the Center. Wearing something a little bit different today. Even, uh, the hat. I did try to dye the hat, but I guess for some reason the second slot doesn't seem to be working. That green should be a, a different red, but, you know, it's fine for now. The reason I'm wearing this, this is actually all of my ghillie armor. The point of wearing the ghillie armor, though, is we're going to go into the swamp, and we're going to try to tame ourselves the new creature, the Dinosuchus. Uh, the one that we kind of pointed out last time that we were out, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to find ourselves a good level, if not a couple of good levels. I have a lot more kibble now than I did before. I'm going to take 30 with us. I don't know how much they're going to need, honestly, but uh, I'm going to take that much out with us. I'm also going to grab some bug repellent because it is the swamp. Actually, I'm going to make a little bit more of that as well, just because I'm going to need it. Oh, this is the wrong place. That is in the chemistry bench. All right, so we'll make eight of those. We'll have a total of ten. Don't think I'm going to need nearly that much out there, but it does not hurt to have more. I'm also going to uh, make sure that we've got enough ammo, because as we kind of assumed last time, I'm going to have to clear out a bunch of the dinos that are nearby as I'm over there, just so that they're kind of left alone for a while, so I can get a chance to sneak up to them and feed them the kibble. So, um, only other things I've really done in between episodes, I've been trying to get, uh, like, I have enough eggs for the aloes. I just have to hatch them and then uh, level them up when it's time. I still haven't found a blueprint for or a saddle for them. Um, but I did go and work on a little bit something. So as you can kind of see down here, I have been working on the motorboat. I actually don't have, obviously, a full build for this, but I did spend a good amount of time kind of at least getting a platform set up on this. So I, I do have easy access to this from up here. I think I'm going to build a bit of a cabin around this. Uh, I'm going to have some rails or something kind of along the sides and kind of have uh, a bit of a, a standard, not standard, like kind of a classic motorboat type feel. I do have uh, the uh, stairs on both sides, though. And I did actually also build ramps inward around the whole thing underneath here. So it should have a little bit more of a, uh, a good boat feel. In fact, I'm gonna, I'll show you the underneath as well, just so you kind of get the full picture. Bring it out here real quick. Make sure this is loaded in case there's a piranha. But yeah, the foundations kind of are what they are. I can't really do anything about those at the moment, but uh, that's fine. It's under the water. I'm not all that concerned. But I do have little compartments down here that I did close. But right here underneath I can still actually access the boat and get back up into it if I want to and uh, if I had any other reason to put anything else in here there is still a way to actually get into this backside and I can end up getting some air and that's kind of a cool little uh, unintended feature of this build but uh, it's all kind of new to me I never actually end up building on the uh, the rafts or motorboats so it kind of took me uh, a good amount of messing around just to get this platform all kind of set up this way but I think it's kind of cool. It definitely is still just a work in progress, but I figured I would show you what I've come up with so far. Let's grab our... I made 48 bugger pellet. I forgot that this goes by sixes. All right, well, I don't think I'll ever need to make any more bug repellent ever again. Ten should be way more than enough just for this already, so I'm not going to be too concerned about that. So we are going to head out. Hmm, well, who should we take out to the swamp today? Honestly, in uh, preparation for the uh, the assault rifle blueprint that we got not long ago, I actually kind of want to take the frog. So I'm going to grab a cryopod. I'm going to grab a few. Actually, I actually already have a few cryopods. We're actually good on that. I'm going to go down and grab the frog, and we'll head over towards the swamp and see if we can uh, find ourselves a high-level one of these. And I'll collect some cementing paste in the meantime. Woo! There you are, frog. I still haven't come up with the names for them, by the way. So if you guys have suggestions, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, let's just uh, head on over and see what we can find. Gotta keep my eyes peeled for any berries or anything else that might try to attack us while we're in the water. But um, I'm pretty sure that if we're on a frog, I don't have to worry about leeches. And uh, they are they should be pretty good for any other creature we run into over here. Unless the dinosuchus themselves end up being some sort of crazy counter for the frog that I'm just not aware of. But uh, I guess we could figure that out here today. Hopefully not. Oh, there's a berry down there. The berries go down that deep. Uh-oh. That's good to know. I didn't realize it was going to catch up to me. Uh, neutral? What level is this berry? I'll just shoot it in the face. 
too many fish over here causing me problems too. Jeez. Alright. Uh God, this is a mess. Come on, right away. Uh where's my frog, by the way? <laughs> there she is. Let's just go. We don't even need to be here. <laughs> Bye, Barry. She's not even all that hurt. I'm starving right now. Hello, Sarko. What level are you? 90. Bye! <laughs> oh, man, it does not feel good being in the swamp on something this small. Oh, uh, it is kind of cool, though. I'm not going to lie. Get ourselves all these Mega Neuras that I find as well. Hello, Sarko. Did I just... Oh, that was in a bug. Okay, I was like, where did that damage come from? There's no way. As strong as she is, there's no way that that would be uh, something she'd do normally. I was right. Ooh, that looks like one of our new beastly friends. A 130. Ooh. Uh, I'll keep that in mind. Snake trying to sneak up on me. A 130 is not bad. It's, it's five levels under what I want to take, but I could do it as a test to see if I'm See how I even tame these guys. Maybe I want to do that on a lower level. I don't know. But I'm pretty sure that what I talked about last time is the way to tame them. But um, I've yet to actually confirm it. I've trying. I've been trying not to watch other people's videos on how to do it. Oh, that was a capro. That actually could be a problem for me. I do not want to get pulled off my mount yet again. The berry was already enough. Oh, there's a Capro. Yep. Alright. What level's this Capro? 90? What's the deal with all these things being level 90? Okay. Got a pretty powerful frog here, not gonna lie. Okay. This has gotta be a separate bit of landmass. Yeah, I don't see the same stuff here. That's just a Sarko. Oh my gosh, look at all of those Meganura. All of mine. These are mine. <laughs> you guys you guys took <laughs> off. <laughs> all of my cementing paste. This may be the opportunity to try to bring the Dinosuchus towards these guys. Because I wanted to see them side by side. Guess the other option is I could tame Masarko after them too and kind of just really take a good look at him. Hello, Sarko. I like your colors. Aw, oh, you're only level 45 though. That sucks. Whoa. <laughs> Are you going to come after me right away, by the way? I think that's when I'm supposed to go up and do it. I don't really want to test it on a level 70. 55. That's just a Sarko. Oh, yeah. Well, there's my chance right now. Jump on over. Holy crap. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Did that attack the Sarko? Was it after me? Holy hell, dude. I think it's actually chomping on the Sarko over there. Whoa. I don't want anything to do with that bite. Not today, sir. Not today. Maybe I should be trying to kill them, though, so I actually can uh, clear out for the, low lo the lower levels. Man, that jaw is just loud. Okay, I literally aimed right at him. We're going to go up and around. I'd really rather not... Uh... Holy crap. That thing could just swallow my frog hole if it really wanted to. <laughs> that is a beast. An absolute beast. Run. I think if I stay in front of it and I let it do the big bite, that's when I'm going to have a problem. So let's try not to let that happen, shall we? Whoa, keep moving. Let's get the rifle reloaded and take a shot. That should be enough 
to take it out, I hope. What am I looking at here? Whoa! Okay, it wasn't enough. <laughs> Another weird color thing out here. Okay, only 12 damage. No, that's the one I don't want. That's the beastly bite. I don't think I have a crazy, crazy saddle on this thing, do I? I don't think I do. There we go. And they're down. Did they drop anything interesting? Or anything at all, for that matter? Oh, they dropped Sarko skins too? Nice. I'll take that. They're definitely huge and intimidating, even if they don't actually do a lot of damage right off the bat. Come on. Come on, frog. Get. Get. Really? <laughs> Could you just get the bug? Thanks. Oh, man. Oh, Sarko. I'm just glad that the Sarkos can at least uh, pull me off of my mount also. It's only the uh, Capros that can do that. I'm going to keep my eyes peeled for any other Dinosuchuses. It's not like I have to look very hard. They're massive. Hello, Diplocalus. I heard that noise. Okay, what level are you? 40. Oh, man. I definitely have to make sure I take care of the level 40. It's tiny. It's already struggling over here. Snakes are already giving it trouble. There we go. Not bad. Didn't give me a Sarko... Oh, it didn't um, immediately give me a Sarko skin. But it did give me some in general. Ah, jeez. I mean, it's doing half as much damage as I am, but that's just like, a, like one of its normal bites, so... I'd worry about trying to do the... That one. That one I don't want him to do. We'll go behind him for that. Big old monsters, dude. Wow. When I have these guys, they're going to take up a lot of my water, my water area, too. He can't turn around. Okay. That one would have probably really hurt because he held it for a long time. I don't know if that's how that works, by the way. I don't know anything about the abilities for this creature right off the bat. I just know that uh, people are saying they are absolute monsters. Oh, that, there's one over there. 100, but it's mate boosted. 100 and 105. Yeah. I'm not going to go fight them mate boosted right now. Ooh, are you purple? And you're a 150. You have amazing colors, and you are a 150. That is beautiful. I'm happy about this. I don't think I'm going to be able to get you up there on that ro- uh Oh, what are you doing, you silly, silly croc thing? Uh, I'm going to use bug repellent now. Oh, the berry! Yeah, I can use the bug repellent right now. Seven. Uh, I don't know what I need to do to get him to kind of just- Relax for a minute. Let me kind of hop off. Take care of my business. And then we'll put this onto the bar. I'm going to have to leave the frog here somewhere. Or put her in a cryopod, and that might be a problem. There's a second one, too. A male 140. Wow. Okay. Jeez. I mean, if I can tame both, they might have one have my... One might have a better stat than the other one. They just took that racer down in no time. Honestly, this part of the swamp might be a perfect place for this. Are they trying to eat the dimorphs? I don't know if I want to piss them off. Because if I piss off the dimorphs, then... Uh, I might be under attack from them for a while, too. Or it'll just kill him. That's fine. We'll let him take the, uh, let him take the meat from that one. Gosh, that's crazy. The blue and the purple right off the bat. It's such a beautiful set of colors. Is this going to be possible out here, or is this going to be a mistake? So that one's ready for a feed. Do I... 
This is scary. <laughs> oh, he shook his head. No, I took too long. Is he going to see me? Let's uh, get away. Good lord, man. I should have brought Icarus. So he did the little snarl, and then his mouth opened. I want to take that as it's time to try to tame him, but... The other guy's here as well, and I don't know if that's going to be a problem for me. It might be. It very well might be. If I wasn't wearing ghillie right now, like, it definitely doesn't feel like I'm wearing ghillie, because I'm not looking like a little bush, but, uh... That is what we're doing here. Can I, like, lure the other ones somewhere else <laughs> for a while? So I can focus on the main guy. If I turn, if the one goes well, then I'll tame the other one too, and then we'll find ourselves a female. Depending on how many kibble it takes, because I honestly don't know how long, how many it's gonna do. So you walk up to it when its mouth is open, and I feed it a kibble. Oh my, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Run! Get up here! So that did 16% for one. Okay. God. Okay. Yeah, that was actually very terrifying. I didn't know if it was going to eat me or not. <laughs> I wonder if it goes off the same rules for any other passive tame, or if this thing is just every time it's opened, it opens its mouth like that, I could give it a shot. You going to do it again? Hopefully my frog is far enough away for him not to, to sniff it out. You should do your snarling stuff now. Ah, crap. Did I lose any effectiveness for this? You're after my frog. Shit. <laughs> I didn't put her far enough away. I didn't lose any effectiveness, right? No. Is that with him opening in his mouth? This might be dumb. Oh, okay, I'm done. I'm out. Bye. I've not been here. Whoa. He's gonna eat me. Oh, there goes all my ghillie. Oh my god. Well, that was... That was dumb. His mouth was in the rock, too. There's no way I could have gotten to him. I don't think I lost any effectiveness for him, but I definitely, uh... I lost my shirt. <laughs> I lost my shirt and my shoes and my... I mean, not my gloves. Just my shirt and shoes. Those were the only things that were standard. That did a lot of damage to me. Holy... Oh, I just ate kibble. Don't do that, you dummy. Alright, well, that was a waste. I don't know it's over there. And, uh, I don't trust... Going over there without checking. Alright, big guy, come here. Follow me. We need to go back over this way. Ow. Come on. Over to this spot. This spot is kind of open and easier to uh, try to tame you in, so let's just have you over here. All right, you can stop chasing me now. I'd appreciate that. Just kind of hang out and wait for me to tame you. Maybe I should put the frog away. Can I carry everything she's got that's important? And, uh... Maybe. She only gave me away this last time, so... I feel like I should probably do that. Oh, she just got injured as well. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. We'll give it a shot once this guy finally lets us try again. Am I still going to be able to sneak up to him even though I'm not wearing full ghillie? God, I hope so. This might be a very dumb idea too. But we're out here trying things today. If I run, maybe I can make it to him. There you go. God. <laughs> I don't know, maybe he'll like me more because he got a chomp out of my flesh once. Who am I to say? You are far away from me, man. I don't know if I should. 
Please don't do it inside the rock. That makes it impossible. Are you after me? There's no way. I'm wearing bug repellent right now. Oh, come on. Be quick, 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 quick. Whoa. That counted, right? Yes, it did. I didn't even know. I didn't even see the blue saying that I could do it. I just kind of assumed that that was good. Uh, more bug repellent. We need it. Okay, I'm going to stay behind this rock and just keep an eye on you. So that means I'll have to do four more of these because it'll end up being 99%. At least we found a 150, though. That's crazy. And I haven't lost any effectiveness even though he tried to eat my frog and he took a bite out of my clothes. <laughs> He's getting awfully close. I'm not really appreciating that. Even though I'm sneaking, you know, it's, uh... That does make this feed easier. Uh, hello? Thank you. Run! Getting out of here! Does it give me, like, a good grace period between feeds where it doesn't immediately try to come eat me then? Is that... Is that what we're figuring out here? Because... Wow, that was quick. I'm not going to complain about that. Run, 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 run! Okay, see ya! Oh, now he's turning on me, so that actually wasn't long enough. Whoa! See ya! I shouldn't have run behind him, I think. I should have just kept going forward. He might kill me now. Or at least I'll run into something else that will. Get behind him. I think he can turn around, though, so that may not have been the best choice. <laughs> can I just get up on this uh, set of rocks now? That'd be cool. I'd like that a lot. Oh, no, he's out there. I can't get to that. That's not happening. I may have to throw the frog out to get him to follow me this direction for a sec. Okay, effectiveness did not get lost from that either. That's good. That is great. I prefer that. I'm sure if I hit him to get him to turn around, that would be a problem, but... Uh... Okay, he did do it again. I don't know if there's anything over here. See ya. Ooh, 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 ooh. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Perfect team. Hell yeah. My first ever Dino Sucus is a perfect tamed 150. Dude, come here. Come here, come here, come here. Oh, here's the uh, dossier. Oh my god. If you want to read that, feel free to pause. I'm going to save, so there's no chance anything goes wrong with this. Let's get you in a cryopod, and then take you back home. We'll find out how much it costs to make a saddle, and then we'll take you around for a little bit. <laughs> Absolutely insane. Alrighty. Let's head home. Am I being chased by something right now? Is that another Dinosuchus? No, it's the 140 Sarko I found earlier. Um, maybe I should knock him out. How much kibble would it take to do that? He's already right here. We'll have a great chance to look at him side by side. You know what? Screw it. Yeah, let's tame this guy. Let's, um, I'm going to kill this Dillo. And these Mega Nura right here so I can get even more stuff there. So we've got the Trank darts. I mean, arrows. Hey, we're a little busy here today. Thanks. Where did the Sarko go? Ah, is that them over there? Probably. Eating the moss chops. Yep. Okay, I only got four arrows on me right now. I don't think it's going to be enough, honestly. Trying to get the whole cooldown timer on there. In between shots. Whoop. You gonna bite me or you gonna run away? I may I may need to get more after all. Or it's actually perfect amount of darts and stuff. How does this happen? <laughs> well, we'll take this guy home with us too. I love it. I love it. This game is so fun. <laughs> Okay, well, it only says this guy is going to take four kibble, considering that a uh, 150 Dinosuchus took, what was it, seven? I ate one on accident. Yeah, so it was seven. Uh, we'll just uh, we'll just give him a few of these. I could go back and get the specific ones that he needs, but I've already got more than enough, more than enough of this one made, so I'll be able to tame this 
another Dinosuchus, and I should still have enough to go over and get ourselves that female Uteranus that we need. And since he shouldn't require any narcotics, I'm going to go back to base and drop off our new friend. We'll take a good look at him there. So that's the Bronto that's been uh, knocking around my base. Only level 30. It literally stuck its head through and pushed me up while I was trying to walk on my stairs. So, you know. Do you have a uh, mutation? You don't. You guys just have so many crazy colors. That, I guess that's what happens when I do a dino wipe right before, or during a summer event. Let me leave the frog right here. You have done your job well, thank you. I'll take this. So we have made it back to base, and I repaired my armor really quick. Let's see what we need to unlock the Dinosuchus saddle. So Dinosuchus, these will be level 74, 20, 200 fiber, 380 hide, and 50 metal. Not too expensive. I did just go and grab all the metal from the platform, so I've got everything I'm going to need there. So let's do just a Dinosuchus saddle. Just do one for now, get this crafted for our new friend, and I'll throw him out here in a little bit once that's done. So there's the saddle. I'm going to take him down to the water area, actually, since he's pretty much going to live down there anyway. Now let's take a good look at this guy. Bam! Okay, so we have, it looks like green along the top, kind of a magenta along the body with some cyan undertones. Very beautiful colors, very happy about that. Your f head is bigger than my entire body. You are a monster, and yet, welcome to your new home. All right, let's put on that saddle. Whoa! Okay, so I am up on the on his back. Okay, crazy. Is it the right click that is the big jaw, I assume? Look at that. That is a monster. So if I let go... He does a big crunch, okay? And then left is just the standard bite. Does control do anything? That's a roar. That's crazy. Oh, was that a tail whip attack? Is that X? I think that was X. It has a bit of a cooldown, I think. That's crazy. I like that a lot. So yeah, controls the... Okay, yeah, controls that. What does space do? I mean, this is all in... Uh, I'm all in K mode right here. Does space do anything? I don't think it does. See, it does kind of turn around by default. If you just kind of turn the camera, it'll try to face where you're going. That's really cool. I like that. That tail whip. I really want to... Okay, we're going to go test this guy out. That... This is... This is insane. <laughs> this is insane. Uh, I'm going to take a picture of his stats out here because I realized I didn't do that. We'll bring him up onto land. Dude, the turtle could fit in his mouth. <laughs> this is huge! Absolutely monstrous. Can I stand on you? Yes, I can. Good. I'm going to take a picture of your stats real quick. 10,000 even? How does that happen? How does something like that happen at all? So here's the thing with these creatures. They don't have any oxygen stat for any of the rolls to go into. So, I mean, everything except for the food stat is going to be useful for these creatures. So I don't know if these rolled really high... I'll have to take him out to the um, the Shasta to know for sure. But uh, let's um, let's go out and try to fight something. Oh, what is that? I I had the I had that off. Surface swimming. Is there a way to dive? Is that uh, how do I go down? Oh, okay. I pressed C. Oh, that's crazy, actually. Okay, by default, the normal bite was 230 damage. I mean, he did bite me once and did a lot of damage. He broke my gear. He almost broke all of my gear in one go, even my Ascended stuff. So I'm, I shouldn't be surprised that he does so much damage. Uh, can he do his other attacks in the water? I think it's just the standard one in here, right? Even still, that is so much. And also, I feel like I'm going... I'm ascending and descending in the water so fast. How about if I were to go up to this guy? The Gigabyte. S wha Whoa. <laughs> okay. That's, that's awesome. Unleveled. Unimprinted. I don't even know if that was a full bite, but that was a lot. How about that tail whip thing? 196, and it threw that copy. 
How about I do a giant bite on <laughs> the poor little dodo up there? Now, nah, I get another chance to do it on one of these guys. I'll take it. We'll do the 100%. Okay, I think they were meat boosted too, actually. That would make sense. Can I hit you with my t <laughs> Bye! Where did it go? Bye bye! Oh my god! Oh, this is this thing is a monster. I love it so much. 100% on a little dude. 1725. I'm gonna use this guy to go and clear up all of the Sarkos and get all of the skins that I need for the bosses. This thing is a beast. Okay, I'm gonna bring this over to the Sarko we have knocked out, so we can compare sizes now. I don't even have to finish taming him to know that he, this guy is just crazy. Bit look at that, the whole turtle is the size of his head. <laughs> oh lord, I'm a big fan. So not only again, like I said, my first time taming one of these ever. The colors are amazing. It's a level 150, and it was perfectly tamed. I am so excited about this. This is awesome. And it looks like the damage is crazy. I think, I mean, it's over 400% by default, which I don't know, like... I don't know what to expect with these guys, but anything over 400% in my book seems like it'd be really good. Okay, so our Sarko here is 96% tamed. Just gonna... Take care of this Mega Nura real quick. He still has one more kibble in him, right? Yes, he does. Maybe I'll just take. Uh, you've got a prime on you, don't you? No, you don't. Okay, that's fine. We'll let him finish up the kibble. But um, to compare full-on sizes here, again, this guy's head is just huge by itself. It's like the third of the Sarko's body. That's crazy. The only thing I need for this picture now is a Capro right here. <laughs> Holy hell, dude. Slap. <laughs> Good God. If I can find another 140 to 150 female. Wow, geez. That's, that's a lot. That is just a lot. Oh, so that's C that I pressed for that. I'm using a little keypad that, uh... I have keys set to, so I'm not entirely sure what they are by default. Kind of just have the buttons memorized by now. Can I... I can shoot off the back of this guy, too? Are you serious right now? That's actually insane. How does this look in... <laughs> That's normal. Don't worry about it. Now that I've tamed one legitimately and it ended up being a 150, I don't mind looking on the map here. See if we even have a high-level female. There's 32 on here. Okay, hold on. I need to narrow this down. So it looks like all of the ones that are 140 or higher are males. Dang, man. How about a 135? Oh! So we've got ourselves. A <laughs> we got ourselves the Zarko as well. I just can't help but look at this and just laugh a little. Just because of just how big of a difference there is on these creatures. Let's just let's just stand. Nope, nope. Why are you what are you doing? Oh, you wanted to you wanted to make sure you ate that, huh? Hold on. You guys just chill. Good night. This one is like the leader of all of these ones. Uh, so I was looking into the tracker just now, trying to find the female. Um, the highest is 135. I don't know if I want to settle for that, honestly. I kind of feel like we need to have, considering he's a 150, we need to have at least a 140 as as the default for the female for these. And I'm going to be picky about it, because I can be. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do, we're going to go back into the swamp on this guy. And we're going to start clearing out any and everything in our path, because that's pretty much what I think he's meant to do. And crunch. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Crunch. <laughs> so yeah, that one did 400 damage to me. 
So if I was worried about that happening earlier, if they attacked me when I was on the the frog and stuff, we're gonna end up killing the 140 now. Oh well, it's okay. Let's do this. How much health do these guys have? I mean, this one had 10,000. I wonder if that's an interesting standard they set for certain levels. I don't know. Oh, 5,000 damage on this Fiomia. Why did that do so much more? Did it feel does? I mean, the Fiomia might have a headshot spot, I guess, a weakness. Because that did 700 damage almost with a normal hit on a Dillo. So she's reaching down to bite me. Can't actually quite reach me right here, which is kind of hilarious. Giant chomp loading. Five, four, three, two, one. Bam! <laughs> Barry and the Sarko stood no chances from that. Okay, we're going to head back to base now, since it's dark. And uh, I'll have to try to see if I can find a good higher level female in the future. I'll kind of come out and keep clearing them until we get a 140 to 150. And then uh, when we have those, we'll be able to get a crazy bred up one with uh, very high stats. Yeah, you're only 80, 85. Let's take care of you, big guy. Other than the fact that I'm, you know, flashing red, I feel pretty unstoppable with this guy. These guys are amazing. I'm very happy that they were added to the game. I'm also very happy with our luck with with uh, what we found. So I'm going to go bring him back home. We're pretty much there anyway. But uh, I'm going to kind of go park him and let him heal up. And then when we, uh, after some time has passed, we'll see if I can find our, a uh, high-level female so we can breed him up. But we got to go up into the snow. I need to get ourselves that Uterana so we're prepared for the boss fight when we get to that. Okay, this is your new little home for the time being, big guy. You can just stay right there, and once we find you a lady friend, we'll park her there with you, too. Let's go and uh, swap back into something a little bit more familiar for the rest of the episode, huh? Now we'll just leave that on him for now, and then we'll put on our good old-fashioned stuff. There we go, that's more like it. I'm going to kind of work around some uh, of the mutations and stuff on the base, in the middle of the night, and once day comes in, we'll head up to the snow and try to find ourselves a Uteranus for this guy. Well, he caught me flying back from the Volcano Island. Decided that uh, I would actually try to go and do some drops, because I just really need to try to find an aloe one. Still no luck there, unfortunately. Most of those drops were pretty meh. I mean, I got another Dunkley, got a Dunkley uh, blueprint, and a silencer, which I'm never going to use. But, uh, you know, I'll grind it down for parts. Still just no luck on there, unfortunately. I'm going to go grab this drop on the way back home. Then we'll gear up and go back out to the snow. It's the one in the little pond. Mostly just see a bunch of beavers around. Don't know if there's anything else trying to, to uh, get to me. But if I move quick, maybe we won't have any problems. All right. I'll leave you right here, Tara. I'm going to swim out to our drop. Fingers crossed we got something incredible today. I would hope so. And that's just a straight up no. I'll take the canteen, but uh, I don't even want to carry any of the stuff back home. It's getting really heavy for me now. Is that the 150, by the way? A 145, right. That's flying even closer to my base now. Just fly right above it. Then hop off. We can dive straight to the treasure. Some would say it's not the smartest to not look around, but uh, look at that Zyphac in the saddle. My goodness. I mean, it's giving me some okay stuff, it's just not the stuff I'm after, right? Okay, I believe we are fully and entirely prepared to head out to the snow to get ourselves a high-level female Uteranus. I do have more darts than I had before because I double-checked Dodo decks. Apparently they'll take seven even with this 500 percent damage rifle. I've got more than enough kibble. I've got the spike traps for the ground. I should be totally prepared. It's only level 105 and it's a male. Okay. If that happened to be a high-level female one of those, I would have taken them as well, but not quite the case. Alright, let's put a little bit more weight onto you, Terry, just so that I know that you're prepared for whatever. Let's fly on over to snow and scout out what we can find. Fingers crossed we find something real good. There's going to potentially be something around every corner, so I'll just run down on foot. We'll hop on to Icarus if they come after me, which they're going to because of that deer. Come on, man. 
They're everywhere and nowhere all at once. Uh, give me that, that, and that. Drop the rest of that stuff. We need to leave before they come and bite you. Anything over here guarding this thing? This is practically one big floating cave, so... We're good. Oh, the colors of that stego over there. Anyway. Come on, Saddle. That's a bunch of fur stuff. Okay, well... Whatever. I'll take this. I'll take an upgrade to the scuba tank. I don't know how much higher. I think that's only a little bit higher durability, but whatever. It's something. Maybe we just want to go to the south side. I know I had seen a few over there before, but just for, I'm just not seeing any at all north of the iceberg. It might have to do with the uh, with the wipe we did last time. Still. I flew over this area just very briefly, and it probably didn't uh, actually spawn everything that we're after. It's a 110 male. Nope. you got some crazy green teammates, though, there, dude. I mean, I'll, uh... Maybe I will have better luck on foot. Grab all the stuff off of Terry. No, this one. Yes. Okay. Put you away for now. Maybe I will have better luck on foot, like I was saying. We that and I know I can come down here and like take a shot at this uh, at this UD, kind of get him started before I attack with the rest on Icarus. Too bad they don't take headshots. Try to kill him before he gets a chance to scare me away. Oh, I failed with that then. All right, Icarus, just move. At least there's nothing around for it to eat. Are you going to go out in the water? That's not a good idea. Boop. Just kind of finish him off while I'm swimming by him. There we go. I'm going to grab that lung while I'm up here. And I'm going to need it. Yoink. Yeah, I'm going to say that this is probably chalked up to the fact that I did the Dino Wipe last time. There's still not very much stuff out here to even fight with. And I've always been saying the last few episodes that the uh, Tundra area is just the most active that I'm ever in. So right now, it's certainly seeming that uh, it's just not loaded in yet with the new spawns. Um, maybe we'll just go this way. What is that? Is that a... Oh, that's a baby saber. Hello, baby saber. Oh, what do I see over there? I see a carno. Is that with the Uteranus? Oh, yep, they're there. What level is... Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. That had three digits. I can't find you if you keep running through... Okay, here we are. We've got ourselves the group of attack the Carnos. They've got a Uteranus here. Good stuff. We're not getting scared away again. Not off here. We're literally on top of a cliff, and that would be the worst place to get scared. We're just get scared off of. I can always just hop off of the creature and go back on, but uh, I'd rather make sure that we're safe here. Oh wow, there were two there. I thought it was just the one. So that means that the Uteranus should be alone, right? Are you still trying to kill stuff? I guess you're just trying to kill a deer. That is no problem at all. I am going to swap the ammo to the darts. Uh, 145. Whoa. Eight darts? Seven darts? One. Two. A three. Four. Oh, shit. Oh, no, I missed. This is why I brought extra darts. <laughs> We're not going to miss again, though. Oh, wow. You're just going to let me line it up? Cool, thanks. Appreciate that. Oh, okay, well. If you're going to start trying to run off the cliff, Icarus, I'm going to put you on the shoulder. I cannot let you do this. Do the thing. Stop. Where'd you go? Oh, she's over there fighting the rhino now? You silly, silly Uti. 
I don't know what level that one was. Probably not very high. But she's going to be fully healed. So there's that, I guess. I'm just going to kind of pelt her with the darts while I can. Yeah, that's what I thought. Didn't need that many. Uh, let's see. Where's she going? She's going to go that way? Alright, Icarus, let's go. Uh, of course, when I have my gun out, I need to have, have an extra thing to click on. Hup! I hit your feet! <laughs> nice. Uh, again, Icarus. Passive. Thank you, sir. Awesome. A 145 female Uteranus. Hopefully she's got some good stats, and uh, we'll be able to figure that out. Let's give her the kibble. I'm going to build up the walls, and we'll bring you back when we've got her back home. And of course, that took another whole entire day, but uh, we are actually making it back home now. I really hope that she's got some uh, really good stats, and they're able to get a couple levels on top of what they've already got. But I guess I can't complain at this point in time. Okay, okay, what do we have? I did see she had some sort of a cyan blue up there, which is kind of cool. If I can combine the bl blue from this one and the blue on the back of the tail of this guy, then that'd be a really, really good combination. Okay, well, I'll have them start breeding. That's not what I meant to do at all. I guess everyone's going to be encouraged for a little while. So have these guys start breeding. I'll uh, figure out what the best stats are in a little bit. The only other thing that I want to do is uh, I did mention it earlier, but I do want to actually take our new Dinosuchus out towards the whale, and I want to go see what his base stats are. Because, I don't know, that just seems like it's really high. I could be wrong. Could probably be higher than that, but I just want to know exactly what we're dealing with here. Okay, so I gamut up. We're going to take our new Dinosuchus out to the whale and see exactly what they have to say about this guy's base stats. Fingers crossed they're amazing. They're as amazing as they seem they are. It's taken a little bit, but we're going to we'll actually bring him up onto the metal platform. Am I being chased by anything by chance? No, I'm not. Okay. Just ran out of stamina at the worst time as well. So let's kind of bring him back up on here real fast. Assuming that he can. Oh my god, it's pushing me under. I don't know if I like that that's a thing. Can he come up here if I'm holding space? Uh, no he can't. Okay. Well, I don't want to kind of leave him partially into anything, so I'll just kind of leave him right here. Make sure he's not going to follow me. I'm going to hop into the whale. I have the sonar still set up. No. Oh, she's hungry. I need to give her some food. Um, let's see. Here you go. We don't want the whale to die either. Wait, how are you? I'm hungry. I'm looking at the wrong bar. I'm a dummy. Okay. Uh, let's see. Periscope. So 45 into health and 48 into weight. 50 in melee. Yeah, so those are all really good stats. It looks like everything's actually rolled pretty good on here. Like I was saying earlier, like the food is pretty much the lowest stat that we could worry about on this guy. And uh, he actually got that the lowest out of all of them. And I'm very happy with all the stuff that we got here. 50 in melee, though? That's insane. That is a good roll. Well, guys, I am very impressed by this Dinosuchus. I think that we found the perfect one right off the bat. The colors, the stats, everything is amazing. We're just going to have to find ourselves a female in a future episode. But if you guys did like the video, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Consider joining the Discord and the Patreon. Both links are in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. I'm trying to wave, but apparently I can't do that on his saddle. Bye. <laughs>